In this movie, we're going to talk about the light linking in Maya, two different types of shadows, the depth map shadow and the rate ray shadow, and also some simple render settings. So in my scene over here, I have two different lights. I have the main light over here, which is a point light, and I can tell that just by looking at the icon. And I have a simple bounce light over here, which is a spotlight. So let's quickly render this scene. To render the scene, I'll go to this button over here, right here. And the render window really shows me some really important things. Right at the bottom over here, it's telling me I'm rendering at 640 by 480 resolution. I'm viewing this at 100%, so the zoom is at 1. I'm viewing, uh, also doing it in Maya software renderer, because Maya has different renderers. The frame is 0, and the render time was 2 seconds, and the camera is perspective. Also, the render window allows you to do a lot of things. Uh, one of which is really cool is allows you to keep the image. So I just clicked on this button and it keeps the image. And right now I'm just going to minimize this. And let's go to the lights. Let's go to Window Outliner and select the main light. And hit Control A to go to its attribute editor. And I'm going to go down over here and turn on Depth Map Shadow. So it's under Depth Map Shadow use depth map shadows. So let's quickly go to the render view and we can click on this button now and render it. And you can immediately see I have a shadow, although it's not the best looking shadow. And the good thing about saving the image before is I can now check there was no shadow earlier and now there's the shadow. So let's save this one as well. And I can go to the depth map shadow attributes and increase what is called the filter size. So let's put it at 3 and render this one more time. You can also do a region render, so I can just select this region and render it. So right now you can see that, and I can save this image as well. So you can see that this is what my shadow looked like previously, and this is what it looks like right now. So the, that's a great little uh, tool over here, the keep image. The other type of shadow I can do in Maya is the ray trace shadow. So let's go down over here and do ray trace shadows. And the one thing you'll have to do when you turn on ray trace, anything dealing with ray tracing in Maya, is you'll have to go to the render settings right here. And you'll have to go to the Maya software tab and turn on ray tracing. And I would highly recommend going to the Maya docs, the Maya documentation, and reading about depth map shadow and ray trace shadows. So let's redo this render right over here. And you can see that the ray trace shadow is a much nicer looking shadow. And also, you can see, because my floor was a blin, its reflection was at 0.5, so it's automatically giving me some nice reflections on the floor over here. Light linking is a really cool way uh, in Maya, where you can have certain lights only affect certain objects. So in this case, I have a light over here called a spotlight, and I have its color, which I chose right from here. So I simply went to the color and I took the little picker over here and I picked the color from the floor. So it's kind of that light green. And what I wanted to do is, let me show you this render when I turn off this light. And let's do this render one more time. And let's save this image. You can see that this is really dark. So what I wanted to simulate was, I wanted, if this is so bright, I wanted some light being bounced from here and casting over here. So I made a simple spotlight over here. And let's look through that light and it's only focusing on that area. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that that spotlight is only affecting this object. So the way you can do that is by going to select the light, you can go to, or you don't even have to select the light, just go to lighting and shading, light linking editor, light centric. There's a lot of other ways to do that. The light linking editor, the relationship editor opens up. I'll select my bounce light over here. And right now it's not affecting anything. So I'll just say affect the teapot blue. If I go to the main light, you can see it's affecting everything. So on the bounce light, I'll say affect the teapot blue. And let's go to the bounce light again and turn illuminates by default on. And right now, if I render this one more time, you'll see that it looks very different than before.